Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about how to close a client who wants digital marketing services on the phone. It's all about the offer. So conventional Facebook agencies or conventional PPC agencies tend to charge clients um, a monthly retainer or a percentage of ad spend and we found that that hasn't worked very well. Um, and if you're trying to sell that type of deal to a client on the phone, it's a very difficult sell. You're asking for um, you know, a certain period of ad spend, you're asking for money to, for landing pages and um, implementation of pixels and tag manager and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's a really complicated sell and we haven't had much success. Well, I, I was terrible at it back in the day. So what we do now um, and the, why we're different is that we offer um, leads as opposed, to, um, as opposed to retained services. So our offer is something like, would you like to trial 100 leads with us? And the answer is usually, yes, I'm interested. Um, and that's it, because if you're just offering leads, there's no, there's no fluff, there's no further commitments. They know they're gonna get the leads, they're gonna pay a cost per lead and um, the deal is pretty much done. It's a very low resistance offer, which means that um, it's much easier to close these people on the phone. So my biggest point here is that it's all about the offer. One of the most common questions I get from clients, and this is always a good way to gauge how of a bigger player are, how much of a baller that they are, is when they ask about the minimum order size, you'll find that some people, that's one of the first questions that they ask and they're only willing to commit for say 20 or 30 leads. Um, and that usually is a good sign that they're not a great kind of person to work with. In fact, I just had a call about 15 minutes ago where that happened to me. So when they do ask this question, go, go high to start with, see if you can uh, come up with a figure of around 100 leads or something like that. Um, because if they don't bat an eyelid at that, then you know you're on to a winner. Okay, so always start high. And if they, they do um, start fluttering around, around a little bit and they become a little bit nervous, then it's kind of a call, your call at that stage. Maybe you're a little bit more desperate to get some business and you really wanna work with these people to get the ball rolling, then drop it down to 50 leads. But don't be surprised if they order for a couple of times and then they don't go ahead after that because they haven't got deep enough, um, deep enough pockets. I hope that makes sense. The next thing the clients are going to ask about is lead quality. So uh, that's a really big point. If they're gonna be ordering hundreds of leads a week from you, they wanna know how many of those leads are gonna convert and what type, type of return on investment they are going to get. And this is very much industry specific. Um, so depending on which vertical you're in or which industry in, that conversion percentage for the client will change. So if you, if you have experience delivering these leads, then you will know what they convert at because you've, you've had experience, right? But if you're new to the industry and you're just making your way, then you need to, need to bluff a little bit. And my advice at that point in time, and it's a fairly standard figure, is to say, these leads from our experience converted around 10%. Um, if you deliver 100 leads, they're roughly gonna make about 10 sales. And we found that to be um, a rule of thumb across most of the industries that we've worked in. It's a strange figure, but it's just the way things work out. Payment terms. So the next thing people are gonna talk about is how um, you want to charge them, right? So you. With, with our agency, we always um, charge on a cost per lead basis, which means that uh, we want to get paid upfront for those leads before, um, before the following week when they're delivered. So we always say without a, a shadow of a doubt these days, um, we get paid upfront for our leads and you have to have the money in our account by Friday, close of play Friday. Um, if you don't have them by then, when we, then we won't start leads on Monday. Um, so yeah, usually try and stick to your guns as best you can. People are gonna try and um, uh, convince you to um, do back-end deals and kind of hybrid deals and all that kind of stuff. 
generally that means they haven't got money, so stick to your guns and always get paid up front. The next uh, question they ask is how can you deliver the leads to us? Again, it's another sign if these guys are players or not, because if they say they're happy just taking email leads, either leads delivered via email, they probably um, aren't that much of a player. They because it's impossible to, to work large numbers if they're being delivered by email because large numbers require a large call center. So um, the most common way these days we hear people ask is if they can be delivered into their um, CRM system via API. Um, and you, what you should say is if, if these people are asking that kind of question is just like, yep, that's fine, just send us over the API details and we'll figure it out from there, okay? And then you need to get a web dev involved and quickly hustle to make sure that that happens. API and is the way forward. Delivering by email is, is not always a great idea uh, based on our experience. So if you are interested uh, in what, what I'm talking about here, how to close clients um, and how to deliver leads to clients on a cost per lead basis, which is what we do opposed to the, the conventional agency model, which is retainer contracts, um, then come and watch our masterclass this week. There's a link uh, within our blog post which will take you to that masterclass and will explain everything that we do from how to get clients, how to deliver the leads, um, how to drive great quality leads, um, how to close deals and how to scale your agency. I'll see you there.